What's up everyone, my name is Dustin, and welcome back to another episode of A Plant-Based Planet. Now today, this will not be a recipe, again, um, I just haven't had time. This weekend's been nuts, we had inventory at work, plus I was on call. I've been at work the entire weekend, but I really wanted to put something out, so I'm going to do a little short video. I wanted to talk about supplements, plus I just went on a store run, so I'm going to show a little bit of that. I just wanted to put a little something out there. I just always hear people talk about, you know, vegans have to supplement so much and that makes us unhealthy and this and that from people who've never done it. So they don't even know what exactly we have to do yet. Somehow they've got all this information. So I figured I would just talk about that a little bit. Now the ironic part when it comes to supplements and nutrients and vitamins and everything that we're getting, a lot of the people that are not vegan and eat animal products and they say that vegans are unhealthy and we have to supplement this and that most and this is a fact you can ask any i mean even doctors that aren't vegan will tell you this most people like 80 percent of people who eat animal products and you know think they're getting everything they're not they're still malnourished you know they're not getting all the nutrients they need just because you eat a steak doesn't mean poof i've got everything i need for the day that's not that's not how it works admittedly that's why some vegans can look unhealthy here and there most vegans I know don't look unhealthy that myth is really a myth for the most part but there are some people who want to be vegan because they don't want to hurt animals but they don't necessarily care about their health you could eat Oreos and soda all day and you're still vegan you have to you just really have to research you know look what foods have what and mix it around you you can get it through all your foods in one day if you plan it out and know what you're doing flax seed it's probably backwards whatever flax seed is another is a big thing and also chia seeds just read the back they're loaded they've got iron phosphorus magnesium protein calcium fiber i mean both of them and they, what's neat is they each have things that the other doesn't have. You know, some have more of the other, that, you know, calcium, iron, crazy stuff. Omega-9, I mean, omega-6. You can get all the stuff. I add these to my smoothies. You throw in all the fruits and the vegetables and some spinach and some kale, green leafy vegetables. That's how you get a lot of iron and calcium. You can get it all. You don't need, you know, the meat or the cow's milk or like they say, you can get it all from fruits, vegetables. Throw in some seeds and nuts and stuff to your diet and your smoothies. It really doesn't even... You really don't have to supplement all that much. There's two supplements that I somewhat maybe recommend for people wanting to go vegan. And I'll explain those. One is the, the big one. You'll hear about it. B12. Again, it's probably backwards on camera. Whatever. B12. You're always going to hear about that. People are going to tell you, well, vegans don't get B12, so they're unhealthy. <clears throat> Vegans don't get B12 because they don't eat meat and B12 comes from the animal. That's a lie. B12 is in meat because that animal is supplemented with it. Just like vegans do. <clears throat> but we're unhealthy because we supplement it. But when they supplement it to the animal and then you eat it, that animal is basically your B12 vitamin. You're supplementing too. It's the same thing. I've had people tell me with a straight face uh, that B12 is made from animals. Animals make B12. That's not true. That is absolutely not true. If you happen to have your own garden and grow your own vegetables and fruit, if you don't necessarily wash them off completely, you're getting B12. It's in the dirt. It's bacteria. It's Your gut even makes its own B12 to an extent when it stops getting it. I've done blood work recently. I don't supplement that much B12 and mine was perfect. And I saw a uh, post the other day with a bunch of vegans saying that they either had great B12 or high B12, and they don't even supplement. They stopped consuming it and don't supplement it, and they even have high B12, because your body will make what it's not getting. So those are just things that people say to push people away and to scare you. It's not true. B12 is not created by the animal. The animal has supplemented that B12. Humans can supplement it just the same. I've got these one-a-days, they dissolve under your tongue, they taste, they're cherry, they taste really good. It takes one minute, it's not a big deal. And I don't even do them every day, I do them like once a week, just cause. If you drink the soy milks and all the vegan milks and some of the mock meats and stuff, it's all fortified. 
fortified foods. They fortify the B12 in it. I put milk in my, I put soy milk and that stuff in my cereal and my smoothies. Sometimes I just drink a glass of it. I'm not too worried about B12. I, you can get it without the supplement. Plus, I got the supplement if I need it. Animals don't create it. The only other supplement I could maybe suggest, I don't personally do it, is vitamin D. Because aside from the sun, vitamin D pretty much mostly and only comes in seafood and dairy products. Well, that vegans don't do either of those. So you either take a vitamin D supplement or you just get out in the sun. And I run a lot. I'm not worried about vitamin D. I, I get my exposure in the sun and I, I think I'm fine. And my blood tests have shown that too. So I've been vegan for 18 months. I take the occasional B12 pill supplement. That is absolutely all I take. And my blood work is fine. And many other vegans have confirmed the exact same thing. So just don't listen to people. You, it's not like you're popping a handful of 28 pills every morning just to keep yourself alive. Really, non-vegans could be doing that just as well. You know how they take men's one a day? That's because you're not getting it all from your food, so you're worried. So you take a men's one a day. I don't even... I used to take those when I was not vegan. I took a men's one a day. Now that I am vegan, I don't. Because I know I get all of my stuff from my fruits and vegetables. I wasn't getting it back then. I wasn't healthy. I was eating terrible. But I wasn't vegan. So to a lot of people, I was healthy. Just because I ate meat, that made me healthy. I was not healthy. I didn't eat the right things. I, I took a men's one a day and thought, oh, well, I'm good. No fruits, no vegetables. Don't let people stray you away because they don't know what they're talking about. If you have questions, you can always talk to doctors and ask them, but beware. Most doctors didn't even have to take a nutrition class. Most doctors will tell you veganism is unhealthy and they don't know what they're talking about. I've had discussions with doctors when I go in and I'll, they'll give me my blood work, tell me I'm perfect. They're blown away. Whatever it is, Mr. Weaver, keep doing it. And I have mentioned that I'm vegan. Oh, well, Because the next thing they want to say is, well, that's not healthy, but they just told me, you pass with flying colors, Mr. Weaver. Oh, you're vegan? Ah. Ah. Run out the room. So just always research. Education is everything. Know where to research, know who to ask. If a doctor tells you, oh, no, do not be vegan, don't listen to it. My little sister is pregnant right now, and she was at the, the hospital recently. One of the doctors would not let her order a vegan meal because it wasn't healthy. And then the vegan uh, like nurse nutritionist lady came in and my little sister told me that she freaked out on the doctor and was like, I've been vegan my whole life. All my children are vegan. We're very healthy. She can totally do it. And she insisted that my little sister got that vegan meal. She schooled a doctor who technically should know more than her and probably is higher up, you know, on the chain. And she even schooled him. This is my most recent store run. I just got back about 10 minutes ago, actually. I've showed these before. It's just been a while, so it's kind of a refresher for anybody new to the channel. Just to show you what can replace what. And also, I got all this for about 50 bucks. I, I really don't think that's that crazy. We're totally good for this entire week now. Um... A little tip for anyone who makes smoothies, I put this in an ice tray. I make ice cubes out of coconut water and put that in my smoothie. And you know, of course all the fruit, spinach. This stuff tastes just like beef jerky. It's insane. You like spicy chicken? I used to tear up Chick-fil-A and Wendy's. Boom. Try those. You like barbecue? Boom. Try those. It's amazing. You like chicken sliders? Boom. And you can also buy ham and turkey from Tofurky, or there's several other brands. Add some Daiya cheese or any other vegan cheese you like. You got a little chicken cordon bleu thing. I make those all the time. Like, so I'm just saying, I, I just have people tell me like, oh, I, I, I would just miss that too much. So <laughs> you can get it back. I find every way to make everything I used to eat come back to me, but vegan. These are addictive. They're made out of lentil beans, but they make chips out of them. They're amazing. They're like 75 cents a bag. Bunch of mangoes, peaches, fruit, carrots. 
So we're good for the week. That's tons of smoothies and snacks and, you know, lunches. Plus, I got vegetables I'll cook up at lunch, too. But yeah, I'm just saying, if there's any, I see people like, I'm going to miss barbecue. Well, I mean, if they pulled this pulled pork crap out of the, the buns in these and, like, sold them in a little bucket or a little tub, I don't know why they don't. It would be a huge hit. These would, if the, you could put these on sandwiches, they'd make the most amazing pulled pork sandwiches. You can't tell they're not real. So, yeah, just saying, got all this for 50 bucks. I always hear that it's too hard because they'll miss something or veganism is too expensive. And I think I'm proving both of those wrong right now. And that was everything I bought at the store today. So hopefully all this talk, supplements, vitamins, seeing all the fruits and vegetables and everything I bought, hopefully it just all, you know, I want it to start making sense. Like, okay. That has this, that has this, that is this. If I combine it and eat it, I'm getting those nutrients. I don't need to supplement it. Just read the back of labels. It's in our foods if we eat the right foods. You can't eat junk food all day. Take a men's one-a-day vitamin and think you're more healthy than a vegan. And vegans, nope, they supplement. If you have to supplement, that's a weakness in your diet, so you're unhealthy. If the animals were not supplemented that B12, you wouldn't be getting it either. And this jerky though, seriously. It's made out of like soy protein, isolate, sugar, wheat, gluten. I mean, I guess if you have a gluten problem, there's you can't eat them. Pineapple juice. I mean, it's crazy. Jalapeno stuff you wouldn't expect. Smells like jerky. Mm. Admittedly, I haven't had beef jerky in four to five years. Well, I pretty much remember how it tastes, and this definitely triggers that memory, so I know it's really close. And I've given it to a few people who are not vegan, and they're like, wow, this is, what? This is crazy. <laughs> so that's it for today. A little shorter, I just wanted to show everybody. This is how we are today, what you can buy, what you can get, what you can supplement if you need. Ignore a lot of the hate, there's myths out there. Just because someone tells you something, one negative thing real quick, don't be like, oh, well, that's the truth, and I am done researching it. Don't do that. There's way more lies than there is truth out there. That's with every subject and topic in the world. This world's full of lies, and no one is truthful. It's a sad reality of the life we live, but reality nonetheless. So, if you ever have any questions, you can always Facebook me, Dustin Seaweave Weaver on Facebook. I now have a Facebook page for this channel, A Plant-Based Planet. You can Facebook search it, or you can go facebook.com slash A Plant-Based Planet, or subscribe to me on here. Every time you like a video, dislike a video, comment the video, share the video on Facebook, it puts my YouTube channel out more in the recommendations. It gets suggested to other people. Even if you leave me a hate comment or a negative down arrow, it still puts me out. So I don't care. Please help me out. Like, dislike, comment, share. Help my channel out. Let's get it out there so we can get more people knowing the truth and going vegan, saving animals, saving the planet, saving lives. And it's really delicious. Thank you. Plant-based planet. See you next time.